Hi guys, I'm on the Norfolk coast today and I'm photographing grey seals and it's a fantastic place to photograph grey seals. I've got really good light, so the sun's shining and it's low in the sky, so I've got really good quality light. And at the moment I'm on a sand dune and then normally if I'm photographing wildlife I like to be laying down so I'm level with that animal. But what I've got over, just over there about 10 uh, 11 meters away is a grey seal pup and it's on another sand dune so it means I can stay on this sand dune and I'm shooting almost eye level I'm slightly higher but not enough to worry about so it's all good and uh, uh, the, the pup's in really nice light so uh, it's, it's a great photo opportunity and this time of year is brilliant it's uh, December at the moment and um, this is when the grey seals uh, have their pups and uh, there's all sorts of photographs. You've got interaction between the pups and the mums. You've got interaction between the bulls. They, they'll fight each other for the right to mate with the female. So they'll control a stretch of the beach. So this, that can be very dramatic. And then if a female's still suckling a pup, she won't want to mate again. And if a male tries to mate with her, she will fight him off. And again, they can be very dramatic, those those fights. So there's loads going on. And then there's lots of little intimate moments where, you know, the mum will be suckling the pup or they'll just touch noses. So there's, there's lots of dramatic action, but also there's lots of subtle action. And you just have to watch and observe. And it all starts to become clear. You know, when you first come down to the seal colony, it doesn't look like there's much going on. But if you wait for a little while, uh, you know, sometimes half an hour, an hour, two hours, you see so much going on, so it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Now the grey seals, the bulls in particular, are massive. They weigh about 300 kilograms, so they're big animals. So again, you need to give them respect and uh, stay away, don't get too close, because they can be slightly aggressive, normally more to each other, but you know, you need to keep a, a bit of distance to keep yourself safe and also uh, not to disturb the animals. And because it's pupping season, I never get any closer than 10 meters because the last thing I wanna do is either stress the mum out or uh, stress the mum and the pup. And in extreme occasions, the mum can abandon a pup. So that's the last thing we want. So at this time of year in particular, when the seals are pupping, you have to be really, really respectful and make sure you don't create any disturbance. And I'm gonna make sure I do that. In a minute I'm going to go down onto the beach, I'm going to find a quiet area so that I can keep my distance and then get low to the ground and take some photographs at eye level with some of the, um, the seals on the beach. But the grey seals are great, as I say they're massive, they're, they're dynamic and you can get some great action sequences. Um, the other thing is as well, um, they're doing very well, you know, they're, they're, the numbers are going up year on year, year, year on year here, so along North, the Norfolk coast. So I'm guessing the fish stocks will be quite good because they, they feed on fish and crabs, crustaceans and stuff like that. And they'll dive to between 30 and 70 metres, so they go down a long way and uh, they can hold their breath for up to 10 minutes. So these are great marine creatures and we only see a very tiny part of their lives when they're up here on the beach you know when in the water they're so graceful aren't they and they're amazing animals and then along with the grey seals which are um, the the main um, seal species on this beach there are some common seals although they're called common seals they're much less common than the grey seals and they're a lot smaller and that's so that's one way to identify whether you've got a grey seal or a common seal the common seals have got sort of more rounded faces and the other thing you tend to find with the common seals, when they're out resting, they tend to put their tails and their heads in the air and they create like a banana shape. So if you've got like a, a seal that's resting with a banana shape it's pro and it's much smaller, it's probably a common seal. The grey seals are, are a lot more sort of got dog-like faces. They're much bigger and they tend to lie flat. Um, I've got my 200 to 500 millimeter zoom, so I can zoom in and out uh, and change my framing without having to move around too much. At the moment I'm wide open at f5.6 uh, and I think I'm on about a thousandth of a second uh, and the ISO is not too high because I've got good light so it's all good this is a fantastic fantastic place the Norfolk coast is brilliant for grey seals at this time of the year so I'm gonna shut up now I've already got some nice shots of this little guy uh, and a little bit of video footage and now I'm gonna move along and uh, go down onto the beach
So I'm on the other side of the dunes now, and as you can see, the light's on the dunes and it's on me. So we're the right side of the dunes. Um, but I've had a look right up and down here, uh, and uh, I can't see any grey seals. They've, ne they've not come this far over. So what we've got is a set of dunes behind me, then another set of dunes, and then the beach. And um, they've, a lot of the seals, or some of the seals, have come over the first set of dunes. Uh, and that's great, because it gives you lots of great photo opportunities. But they've not come over the second side. So that the seals that have come over the first set of dunes, they're in the sort of hollow between the two sets. So they're in the shade. And the seals on the beach are also in the shade now, because the sun's getting really low. And in fact, I've probably got about 15 minutes of light left anyway. So I'm going to call it a wrap um, for the moment. And I'm back here tomorrow. But before I do that, I thought I'd uh, just give you a few more grey seal facts. So grey seals are um, also known as Atlantic seals, and they spend around about two thirds of their life at sea. So they're obviously a really uh, big marine creature. And um, as I say, the, um, the males weigh about 300 kilograms, but the females are a lot smaller. They weigh about 100 to 150 kilograms. Um, I think the males have a slightly harder life actually, because they live to about 25 years old, whereas a lot of the females live to about 35 years. So, you know, they're reasonably long-lived animals. And as I say, in the winter months, um, any time between about October and sort of beginning of February, uh, the females will come out and uh, give birth and they'll be pupping. And that's a great time of the year, as long as, as, as I say, you're respectful uh, to the seals. And uh, when the, uh, the mum gives birth, she'll sniff the pup for about half an hour. So she really gets to know that pup's scent so she can find the pup again. And they create, it creates that bond. So it's a really nice moment if you, know, if you can see the, uh, the seal, you know, the, like the females, you know, just sort of uh, nuzzling uh, the pup that's just been born. It's, it's an amazing. And I've seen pups that literally have just been born and they're tiny little things. Now, the pups do put on a lot of weight quickly. Uh, around about, I think, two kilograms a day so they build up that blubber which keeps them warm and then they've got that thick white fur the only thing is uh, unlike the uh, common seals uh, whose fur is waterproof the grey seals pups their fur isn't waterproof so um, what you don't want to see is a pup going into the sea because it gets waterlogged quickly and can die of hypothermia so that's one of the reasons you obviously give these animals a big respectful distance because the last thing you want is the pup going into the sea and uh, getting cold and possibly you know uh, dying through um, hypothermia but aside from that it's, it's a great experience and they're, they're amazing animals to, to, uh, to photograph um, as I say you know it doesn't look like they're doing a lot but if you watch for long enough lots of little bits of behavior you know little interactions between the, the, the females between the pups and the females between the females and the males interaction and sometimes fights between the males uh, when they're looking for that dominance over a certain part of the beach so it's a great experience and I've been coming to these beaches for probably 10 years now and over a period of time you get really used to reading uh, that animal's behavior so you can give it the distance it needs but also get some fantastic pictures so I'm here all week as I say so no doubt I'll get some more stills and some more video all the best shots and uh, video clips I'll put on the end uh, of this piece of camera or this video and uh, yeah I hope um, you enjoy the video and I'll speak to you soon guys This is a ball seal and um, he's just coming up onto the beach but there's another seal that's bigger, another ball seal that's bigger than him so he's keeping a real eye out for that dominant ball uh, seal and um, it was early in the morning, the light's absolutely fantastic and as you can see this seal is looking around um, all the time because he's, he's not the main um, ball seal on the beach and um, in, uh, in just a minute he's, he's looking up again and he spots the, uh, the ball seal and he's back off into the sea. Um, and he'll just wait around there, just looking for an opportunity to, to come up and uh, look for a female and maybe find a female. But often, uh, almost all the time actually, the younger bulls get chased back into the sea and sometimes right into the sea actually. And if you look at this, this is a really nice moment. It's, um, it's the mum with a pup. Uh, the pup's quite big, um, so it's not newly born. And um, these two are having a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a sort of it feels like an argument almost it's not really but there's a little bit of interaction going on which is really lovely and um, 
I should probably think that that seal's possibly about a week, week and a half old. So it's put on quite a bit of weight, and as I say, normally about two kilograms a day uh, they they put on for um, for about, and they feed for about 21 days, something like that. And then they, the mums just leave them alone, and uh, they molt the white fur off, get their waterproof fur on, and then they uh, go off into the sea to start hunting. But there's some really lovely moments uh, you spot on the beach actually, you just have to watch and be patient. And if we look at this, this is a male and a female, and um, the males and females can be really, really aggressive. And although the females are a lot smaller than the male, they normally give as good as they get actually. So this female's not really ready to mate at the moment, and um, the male is, of course. Um, so what you'll see in a minute is that they have a really big tussle, and uh, it looks quite aggressive. And I have seen, you know, uh, a male and female draw blood on, on occasion, so they can be very aggressive, although this one isn't quite so bad actually. But you can see, you know, they're, they're just, you know, uh, there's that bit of aggression going on all the time. And they're right on the edge of the beach here, so um, sometimes you'll see this going on actually in the water as well. And just the female is just letting you know her feelings be known all the time and uh, the males normally wait quite patiently but you know there are occasions when they just push their luck a little bit too much but it's marvelous to watch there's so much behavior going on uh, in a seal colony and here they go it, it really really does get quite aggressive sometimes And you can see how big that male is. He's pinning the female down, um, but she will fight him off. It's like the, the females just, you know, just got up and had a, a quick little moan. And now we're moving on to a, a much more um, gentle scene, actually. So we've got, again, we've got a pup feeding. Um, and what you tend to find quite often is that the female will just touch the, uh, the pup with a flipper to encourage it to feed. And I think there's a clip uh, a little bit later on where we uh, sort of notice that, actually. But again, it's such a nice moment. Completely different behaviour, obviously. Uh, to the, uh, the bit of behaviour with the male and the female that we've just seen. And you can hear the other females and males, or mainly the females actually, making a noise in the background. And um, this is um, a, a weaned pup actually, so this pup is, is over three weeks old now. And you can just see the grey fur coming through, so it's molting off that white fur that isn't waterproof, and the grey fur is just beginning to come through, and he's having a little play with the grass, and sometimes they sort of um, chew on the grass as well because once um, the, they're weaned the female just goes off possibly mates with another male and then the, uh, the, the pup is left on its own this pup is a, a lot younger so uh, the female will be back to feed it at some stage I'm a, I'm a very long distance away here so I'm using uh, the 500 millimeter end of my telephoto lens and it's on a APS-C sensored body so it's actually behaving like it's a 750 millimeter lens so I'm a long distance off probably 20 meters or more so there's no way in the world I'm going to um, cause any distress to this pup and as you can see it's really uh, really relaxed and they're constantly moving these guys it's uh, even though it's not big movements, they're constantly moving. And uh, if you look at this coming up, you'll see um, in a minute, I think, um, the female just touching the pup with a flipper just to encourage it to feed. There you go, can you see that? And it's just basically saying, come on, you know, start feeding again, you've got to feed up now. And I could watch these sort of scenes for hours, to be honest. It's uh, such a nice experience. And you can see that flipper again, just encouraging the pup.
that's uh, again another uh, bull seal out in the sea. So they'll be going up and down the earth, swimming up and down the beach all the time, looking for uh, unattached females, looking to see if the uh, you know some of the dominant bulls um, are not on you know not on site, uh, not on that particular part of the beach, and um, more often than than not they get chased back into the sea and, and as you can see they're unbelievably at home in the water and then again this is another male and female uh, you know they, they it's unbelievably aggressive sometimes and it looks like the male is is all over the female but as you'll see in a minute um the female just chases him off so um I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, we've got lots of stills pictures coming up so you know um, if you've stuck with me this far then I, I hope you stay with, with me till the end of the video and, and look at all the stills. Um, I love the stills uh, photography but I also love shooting video now so yes um, I had a marvellous time on the, uh, the Norfolk coast uh, this, this winter, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah if you have enjoyed this video uh, if you can give me a, a, a like that would be great it always helps my uh, my channel and if you haven't already uh, considered subscribing if you can think about that that would be brilliant and if you do subscribe press the little bell icon and that will notify you when I've got my next video uploaded and uh, apart from that if you've got any comments um, on wildlife photography in general or photographing seals or or anything sort of photography related really to be honest um, please drop them in the comments section below so thanks very much for watching and um, yeah, I'll speak to you on my next video, guys.